My name is Drew. I'm All from right. uh, Norwich, Connecticut. Oh, cool. From Norwich. Not too far, man. No, nope, no. Nope. It's nice to be close to good rock and roll, eh? Oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that always comes pretty close to us, so, you know, never go too long without a show. This is my first time at this venue. What's it like inside? It's a beautiful place. It's, uh, it's a beautiful theater. It's, uh, I believe it's got a balcony. It's just a, it's a nice classic theater type setting. It's not a big arena type thing, so it's a nice place, you know, to have them come play in Connecticut. Excellent. So, can't, doesn't get better than that. All right, awesome. One thing I noticed that was funny, I arrive at all the shows early, and uh, they were not letting anybody at all in the parking lots, which was kind of odd. Mm -hmm. I mean, I can see that they don't want a huge party in the parking lot, but what it was doing was creating congestion out on the regular roads for all the local people trying to get home from work. It really made it a nightmare for the yeah. locals. Yeah, that's too bad. That, yeah. that, that happens at a lot of shows. Uh, they're not, they used to let everybody in really early. Right. Actually, they used to let everybody stay till the next day and camp out, but now they don't do that. And they also don't want people coming in early, you know, because they don't want people partying or whatever, but it ends up causing all kinds of problems. People end up stuck at local businesses and McDonald's parking lot or gas station flooding everywhere. They should just let them in here. They really should, because it was crazy out on the street there. And a lot but of people- The main, the main issue should be to, the, to protect the community and the concert goers. And whatever benefits both parties the same is what they should do. So you've seen other shows here? Oh yeah, seen and a bunch of shows. Great, and others in uh, like New Haven around this area. Yep, seen shows everywhere, everywhere around. Excellent. Who have you seen more than anybody else? Uh, all the Grateful Dead affiliated stuff. Okay. Much. Yeah, cool. You know, further, Phil and Friends, Fish, stuff like that. Cool. Any other genres of music? Any other bands that you really love? Uh, yeah, I don't know, kinda, but I'm mostly into the Dead and pretty much that. <laughs> I know what you mean, man. Into the Dead. A lot of people here tonight that are just like die hard dead fans, man. Yep. It's been pretty enlightening to see everybody, that's for sure. Uh, Killer yeah. shirt you got on there, is that from yep. one of the shows you went this to? The Ico Ico shirt, classic, classic tie dye. And uh, it's uh, one of my best friend's shirts he gave to me actually before he passed away, so special shirt. Awesome, shirt. man. Memories, right? Yep, but I gotta get going. Absolutely, man. Uh, nice you rock you. on, have a great time at the show. So are you guys, man. You ready? <laughs> hey. Awesome tunes tonight. Yeah. Hey. Okay. Nice, nice, We're nice. gonna catch a terrapin. We, what's that? We're gonna catch a terrapin. There you go. Little sugar magnolia too. Yeah. In the old darling. Looking for an old darling. Yeah. yeah. Abbey Road. Oh, that would yeah. be sweet. That's what they're called for, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, no yeah. doubt. What else? What's like one that they usually don't play? You'd love to hear. Uh, I'm looking for. Well, they already did the eleven, but uh. Yeah. yeah, they just did an 11. I want to hear a China Rider, but they just did a China Rider team. China Rider, yeah. <laughs> uh, all, all my favorite songs have already been played in the last three shows. <laughs> 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 and uh, how many times have you seen them? Uh, this is actually my only second for the show. Second one, huh? Yeah. Ah, that's cool, yeah, man. Probably my, like, fifth or sixth, but... Nice. Yeah, yeah, further like is killing it. Further. Yeah, yeah they they're keep, fucking... They keep getting, like, better every show. It's, yeah, like, when they started the further through, they just been increasing like exponentially every single show. I think they're getting a lot more comfortable with John playing with them and stuff and it's just kind of like all coming together, I don't know. Like that's just getting better every time. Nice, know. nice. Getting uh, getting the groove down, huh? Yeah. No doubt. These guys definitely are fucking pretty cool, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. No doubt. And are there other bands you've seen as many times as them? Or? Um, yeah, I've been a lot of fish. Uh, yeah, fish. Fish, fish is pretty much, fish, yeah. yeah. I've seen them all a bunch of times. I, I mean, caught fish on Halloween, man. That was a blast. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I was yeah. there. Little we were down there. Yeah. Yeah. The little feet set. Yeah. Yeah. Atlantic City, man. Yeah. It was a great time. Yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. We were down there. We caught string cheese down at uh, Hampton, and then we, we went up to Atlantic City for Halloween. Yeah. So it was, it was, that was fucking... Great run. Great you, got, run. you guys travel, man. I love it, man. That's what this is all about. I'd like to talk to the people who travel long, travel far, buy the yep. tickets, and see the oh, shows. Yeah. Where, where are you from? It's a passion. I'm from right by Woodstock, New York, Ulster County. All right, no oh, okay. shit. We're up near Saratoga, New York. Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, all right. So you're. Few miles yep. there. Very cool. I've seen so many great shows. It's back, man. Oh, so man. many. Yeah, we're hoping Fish comes back, comes back this year. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh, they yeah, are. that Two would nights. be. Um, they are. They are where are they playing? Watkins Glen, it's rumored. Hopefully. Uh, Hopefully. Rumored. We'll see. Yeah. I'm not going to get my hopes up, though. Yeah, my yeah. hopes are very low for this. Yeah, you know, it's... That would be it would sick. Be. It would be. It's great when bands play up in that area because we have to go so far to see great shows, you know? Oh, yeah. There's SPAC, there's a few places, but not enough, you know? Yeah, everywhere else yeah. is two, yeah. three hours out. It's
got fire and rescue on standby, ready to go for any emergencies. These guys are ready to rock. Let me right. tell you what the dead means to me. Um, when I first knew them, they were the band that my dad listened to. They, you know, were something I grew up with. And something I put aside for a little while. And I went through some hard times in my life. I was engaged and my fiance passed away. And I was pretty down and some friends picked me up, brought me out on tour. Took me out to see, you know, Phil Osh and Bob Dylan. Followed them around. Went all over the country. And you know what? That brought me back up. So, all those lyrics that I had heard and not paid attention to for all that time, they meant something new to me at that point. And from then on out, you know, it was, it was family. I found friends, I found family, I found a home there. And even now, you know, I'm married, I got a family, and I don't come out that much, but any, you know, any, any dead song I hear takes me back and just makes me, you know, it's like a sound of home. And when I come out to a show, it's like coming home. And when I meet new people online, it's like meeting third cousins that I haven't seen in years, but I know them anyway because they're family. And that's what this is. It's the sound of home and the people here are family. And that's what it's all about. It's great I, rock and I roll, ain't it? I hope I articulated it right. I hope I described it as well to you as I, as I could, but that's, that's what it means to me. Awesome. It's a song of home and it's the sound of family. It's nothing like with rocking out with friends and family. Yep, rocking out with <laughs> friends and family. All right, right, on. All right. Cool. All right, what am I supposed to say now? Anything you want, man. Tell oh. me, tell me why you love the Dead so much. Because I'm a GDF kid, man. My dad <laughs> played like drums for them when they were the Warlocks, tearing around with like Timothy Leary doing the acid trials. And then I was born at a show. I was born at Woodstock, New York, at a show. Really? The day wow. after I was born. Jerry Garcia held me in his hands November 7th, 1985 and said, welcome to the family. Like, I'm straight up GDF, Grateful Dead family all day. I've been touring for, on my own for 14 years, this being my 14th. Um, all the way, it's been a great time. You? I'm 25. Really? Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I got everything. Phil Lesh and Bob Weir have been carrying it on, you know, since Jerry died. You know, and uh, like, it's, it's a family gathering. Like, how many other families get together every week, it's two to home three times a week? It's travels all over the place. Yeah, exactly. And, and you know, like you see us around. Sometimes like, you travel with your home, sometimes you just go back to visit. If there's a great today show, man, if there's a further show out here now, you will find me there. I have yet to miss one. And I may not always get in, but, I know the songs, and if I start singing a song, man, like, who knows, all these other kids will fucking come over and be there with you. you nice. Know? Hey, out of all the shows you've seen, man, which one stands out? The best one I've seen? Um, well, all of them, really. But uh, last year, All Good in West Virginia, they had the sickest set yet. Like, let's see. It, they started out, well, well, they played at 3 o'clock in the morning. They started at 3 o'clock in the morning. But before them, there was Riders of the Purple Sage opened. And then there came um, Widespread Panic after that. And then it was Derek Trucks. And then they played. And they had like a five hour set. And it, it was just the sickest set yet. And like it started raining part of the time, which made it even cooler. Because like the lights and everything, it was like mad warm. It was, it was in the summertime. So it was like, like super hella warm and like the lights were coming through the raindrops it was sick and like you know and all the family was there okay, i'll so. get a double miracle and miracle your ass in right. new york oh, there, you, <laughs> <laughs> there you go new yeah. york's coming up that's right yeah, absolutely down know. at the best buy theater gdf family <laughs> steelies man there you, you go know, i got it on my neck i got it on my hat and remember got it, my right man. here it says so right here i'd rather be dead than fishing 
Nice, man. Eating, nice. Fishing with a pH. Yeah. But uh, I got, I mean, as a matter of fact, this is my dad's shirt. This came from 1979. Wow. Really? Yeah. That's cool. It's that's, an original. That's September 16th. Yeah, it's original. And that was like first year this album came out. It was fantastic. Oh. Yeah, right. What was it, man? What was it? One certain song? Uh, the entire the entire show, but the second set was fantastic. It was a great show. Awesome, man. What was on the set list tonight? Any surprises? There were actually a few surprises. I mean, we waited and waited. I thought the show was pretty good. Yeah, cool. Cool. Anything uh, on the set list that, out of the ordinary? Or? Yeah, they, they did a lot of songs tonight in tribute to Pigpen because today was the anniversary of his passing. He died on March 8th, 1973, and they did five songs tonight that were definitely in his honor. Really? Do you know what songs they were? Absolutely, yes, they do. They did Easy Win and Operator in their first set. They did Hard to Handle. They did Smokestack Lightning and Love Light in the second set. All songs that were popular by Pigpen when his heyday with the Grateful Dead. So God bless Pigpen. Awesome, man. Great to commemorate an uh, awesome artist like him. Yes, it was. Absolutely. Anything else about the show that... It's a great venue. Good night to be just enjoying life and thank you very much. Have there a good you go, evening. man. Rock and roll to you, brother. Thank you, man. All right, absolutely. We can't believe these guys are but here. I, 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 I thought the show was great. I can't believe this Philadelphia Mafia, though, here with the balloons, man. This is driving me nuts. They're everywhere, man. Get I think the uh, state, something's got to be done about this, man. There's too much of a markup on the balloons and um, it's like they're not even here for the show. They're just here for the markup on the balloons and they're ruining people's lives. and. I'm really not that happy about it at all. I hear you. There was about 100 people out here that didn't go in. I don't know if it's all these guys. But yeah, you know. it's all these dudes. And right at the gate, I mean, double, WPLR should be ashamed of themselves. They're handing out these uh, 40 years, uh, 99 rock WPLR, and 10 steps away from the girl handing me this thing are right. three or four balloon get guys. Mafia guys. Oh, right there. Huh? Right there. It's just nice. fucking get rid of these guys. WPLR. I'm sure they got nothing to do with that. No, but. they got nothing to do with it, but somebody should put a stop to this. I know what you mean. It is good. Thank you, but did you have a good show? Time at the show, yeah, though? The show part was great, man. Awesome. I had an awesome time. Too hard awesome. to handle. Yes. I love it, dude. That was like the best ever. Which, what did they open with? Oh, man, I, I came in with uh, like the third song, dude. So I missed the freaking first two uh, songs. All right, got came out. Mississippi Half Step, Step Toodaloo. Oh, Toodaloo. Excellent. Great, man. Excellent, man. Hey, it was fun though. Bob, Bobby really sang well. He wasn't wearing shorts. <laughs> Bobby's wearing pants though. You see him? And you got that. They got that guy singing in the background now. But I think it's uh, Jerry Garcia's uh, daughter. Is it? She like singing in the background right now? I'm not sure. Yeah, someone's uh, that's telling that's me that tonight. I know. Yeah, she's. I see yeah. some dude from Dark. Side Sunshine from Garcia is her name. Okay, cool. She's actually hanging out. All right, man. Here's one of the biggest dead fans there is, man. Dude, tell me about was, the show. That was just amazing, man. That was probably the best show I've ever seen by these guys. Nice. If it wasn't compared to anything I've seen back in the 80s, unbelievable. Just incredible. What was it? Anything special on the set list? I think uh, it was just a majority of the songs that they played tonight was just, it gave that feel from the 80s. It just, oh my God, I can't even explain it. Just incredible. Gotta love it, gotta love it. Somebody told me they played Johnny Be Good. They man. did, yes they did. Oh, and they played Oh Darling by the Beatles and it was just an incredible version. Unbelievable. Fantastic, man. And how many shows have you seen? Oh, I don't know. Probably just about 20, I think. N nice. Yep. But this has to be up there and one of the best. And what'd you think of this venue at the Wallingford, Connecticut? Uh, I wasn't too sure about it at first, but it ended up being real good. Uh, I was pretty surprised that the security was pretty lax in there. They let you roam around and dance. It was very good. All right, cool, yeah. man. Glad you had an awesome time at the show, man. Yeah. Absolutely, yes. man. Absolutely. Rock on.